I found her attractive. There was this extraordinary sense of self. There's something, something really beautiful about uh, an older woman who um, knows who she is, who has a great accomplishment. That already is sexy. I think Peggy had a very strange sort of form of sexiness. She wasn't, she didn't exude sexuality, but she had a kind of sexual aura that people did respond to. And she was a kind of a mixture of old fashioned and very, very modern. She was kind of testy if people assumed that she would tell you dirty stories or talk about sex or things like that. I think she's a little like a character in Proust called Madame de Vie Paris. He's who, when she's young, recklessly throws away her reputation and, uh, and thinks it's fun to do that. And then when she's older, she spends all of her time trying to recover her lost position. And I think Peggy was a little like that. Assembling a great collection and starting a museum, all of that was something that would preserve her name, and that's what she wanted to do. She was a Guggenheim, and, you know, and she had the ego of a Guggenheim. And she had a certain authority about her, and uh, people were very impressed by her name. I mean, she, she used the Guggenheim name to, to, good, to good ends, and she'd, she'd, uh, she'd carved out her niche for herself, and she filled it, and she seemed to be doing it very well.